Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is Kuhn Cassis Rifle TV in association with MTK Global. I have still undisputed champion Katie Taylor. Yeah. Uh, absolutely phenomenal performance tonight. Thank you so much, Kugan. Um Frustrated you couldn't get the stoppage though? Yeah, I definitely um, felt like I hurt her numerous times in there, but she was, just, she was very, very tough, um, very, very durable. I knew she was obviously big and strong coming into this fight, but um, she just wouldn't, uh, just wouldn't go away. Um, she was always swinging shots, and she was actually quite dangerous when she was hurt as well. She was, she was quite, very, quite heavy-handed, um, so I had to be a bit more cautious near the end. But um, I tried my best, obviously, get, to get her out. But I just had to be satisfied with the, with the points in the end. I see a few calls from people saying that she could have been pulled out because she just literally took ten rounds of punishment, basically. So she was. Yeah. It seems like she was kind of ever in the fight. So. Uh, but credit to her, she stuck it out. Yeah, credit to her as well. She, she obviously came to fight. This is a huge opportunity for her. Um, she was obviously the, the number one contender, the number one mandatory for the WBA. Yeah, she came in here to fight. Um, and, uh, you know, as, as you said, just credit to her. She was as tough as nails and she was everything put the kitchen sink on her just couldn't get her out. You knocked her down at the end of round, I can't remember which round it was now, yeah. but quite close to the end of the round, obviously, yeah. and it was, it was, I think it was more or less right on the, right. On the bell. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, yeah, and then I just couldn't get her out. <laughs> it, was a, it was a great, great knockdown, I felt. Um, uh, and obviously she had a, the, the home and a break that obviously recovered from that as well. Um, at times I was really punching myself out. <laughs> I was uh, so determined to actually get her out, but um, she was obviously big, big, big and strong and you know, fair play to her. You've been obviously very active over the last four months. Uh, so you back-to-back -back camps for yourself mm -hmm. after the, the PSU and rematch, but is it time for just a little bit of break over Christmas now? and? Yeah, definitely. Um, I was I was obviously joking, saying that I would fight every month if I could. I really would fight every month if I could, but it's obviously not obviously not the smartest move. Um, I'm gonna go home and just take a few weeks off and try and recover. It's been a very very busy year. I feel like the whole year has been a big long train. I can't too quiet on us. And um, I obviously start training in January for a fight that was supposed to happen in May, and due to the pandemic, um, it, it kept getting postponed. But I was pretty much training since January uh, this year. So it has been a long year. Um, it's been a great year, but a long year. So I am looking forward to having a few weeks off. Eddie Hearn said to me tonight that you've got another 10 yeah. fights left in you. At least. Yeah? yeah? Is that the way you look at that, 10 fights? Yeah, I think I have at least. I, I, I don't try. I, I don't want to buy limits on, on what I can do, but um, I'm definitely not slowing down, that's for sure. I've got plenty of years left in me. Um, I'm not sure how many years I have left, but I'll know when the right time is for me to step out of the ring. But right now, I'm, I'm as strong as ever. I know over the last sort of year or so, you was kind of not so so to speak your list, but there was a kind of a list that of mm. fighters that I mean I've spoken to your manager about before that yeah. kind of a hit list of fighters that you definitely want to fight before mm. before kind of you you finish in boxing. So do those names that we always talk about do they still remain the same? I think so. What names that were you talking before? <laughs> Um, uh, Chrissy Cyborg. <laughs> yeah, Chris Cyborg um, has, is a name that's been talked about a lot over the last few months. Obviously, Amanda Serrano, if she if she's willing to, to step into the ring, uh, the winner of um, McCaskill and Breakhouse, yeah, yeah, is obviously a huge fight as well. There's there's no shortage of fights out there for me. They're all huge fights, and um, and yeah, I'm ready and willing to step into the ring with any one of those girls. There's girls here as well in Chantel Cameron. Yeah, exactly. And Jonas as well. Exactly, Chantel Cameron, uh, Natasha Jonas. Um, I'll get around to, to all of them eventually. I obviously can't fight everyone at the same time, but um, I will fight and fight them all, and, um, and please God, I'll beat them all as well. We've had, obviously, Savannah Marshall become world champion uh, as well, and obviously Chantel Cameron, and tonight Terry Harper was very impressive. Yeah. Rachel Ball fighting for an interim title. It's... It's never been in a better place. Oh, 
that's amazing. Um, when would you see this, like three three world title fights in one night? Was the Rachel Ball a world title fight in the end? Yeah, it wasn't the full title. She because yeah. um, the girl missed the weight, yeah, so she yeah. fought for the interim WBC right, title. Yeah, but you know, I, I never thought I'd see this day where you're, you actually have three world female world title fights in one card. Women's boxing is on fire right now, and. Um, yeah, but just I, I'm so grateful for myself to Eddie for, for giving us this platform. He took a chance with me four years ago, and here we are. And uh, you know, it, it's been an amazing four years. And um, look how far that women's boxing has actually come over the last few years. It's amazing. That DM that we saw. I know how embarrassing is that. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it was almost like, "Hi, my name's Katie." By Please the way, sign me. <laughs> yeah. But look, in that kind of short space of time, look what's happened. Yeah, exactly. Um, and really, Eddie did genuinely take a risk. Um, we he didn't know how how this was all gonna pan out for him. Um, and here we are, women's boxing is is actually making so much noise right now. It's the female fighters who are household names in the in the country right now and it's incredible. I think give Hearn too much credit. I think anyone could have promoted you still really? would have been the same. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, well thanks for that. <laughs> um I know you hate doing interviews so I'm gonna leave you yeah. now. Um have you got anything else you'd like to add? Katie? Uh, no, uh, nothing else, Googan. Um, thanks so much for all the support. I, I, I have nothing else to say, really. No yeah, problem. Can yeah. kind of have a rest and yeah. have a good Christmas as well. Thanks a lot, Googan. You too. All right. Yeah, thank you very much. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free, impartial advice on all your debt.